everybody. I'm Jess of Main Sales Fur and Fins, and I am here today with an unboxing for you. I got this probably a month ago, and I have just been so busy that I haven't been able to open it, but I need it now. I need it, and Hyger was so great to send this to me to, um, to try out and um, give my honest opinion of the way it works and to let you guys know the way that I feel about the product. So um, thank you, Higer, for giving me this opportunity. I hope that we can continue to do um, work in the future. And let's get this light opened. This light is gonna go on my axolotl tank and it is time for me to get that going. And I have not opened this other than the box that it was mailed in, but I have not opened this box. And this is supposed to be a light that um, is 36 inches, should fit on my 40, um, which is where two of my slaughters are going to go. The babies that I raised from Miss Susie Q. But I'm super excited to be able to try this out because it's got a timer on it. So I don't have any lights. To have. Well, I do. My um, saltwater tank is a Hyger light, and I, I I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it does a great job for me. So in the box was of course styrofoam to keep it from moving around and then this little box which probably has um, the controller in it maybe and then it's got your brackets and directions brackets and the light So, here's, this is the, I guess this is the controller, and then of course the lights, the light, and it looks like these adjust, all the way out, which should fit my 40. Okay, I get it. I understand now. So you can either use these brackets that are on it. They slide out. Like so. And then these slide in. Those same holes. Therefore, you can make it longer. So, I don't know which one I will need yet. We will just have to see. And we will look in this box here, which is the rest of the cord that you plug into this side. So, I will go and we are going to try this out and give it a little, you know, few days to see how it's working, and um, then I will give my honest opinion about it. Um, for growing things, I would it would take longer. It would take um, longer, and I can do an updated version um, of the Hager Light. Um, just in case um, to let everybody know whether you know it's doing good or it's not doing good however it's doing um, but as of right now I I love the Hyger lights um, I have no problem with them and um, they grow my plants very well they show the color 
of my fish off very well, and they're sleek. They're 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 they hardly look like. But look, you can hardly see it's there, which I think is cool. So anyway, this is the Higer light, and again, I want to thank Higer for giving me the opportunity to try this light out and let you guys know how it works. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the Hager light that I have been trying out. I have it on my axolotl tank. <laughs> and it's got the red, the blues, and the white. Um, I have had no problems with this light. In fact, I really, really love the fit. I love the settings on it because I can dim it for my axolotls. back up and then back down and then I can change it there's the blues and reds and then back to the white white red and blue and then just red and blue the only thing I wish that it had different would be just the blue. I don't know why they would do the all the other colors separate, but the way it is. It also has a timer that can be set for three hour, six hours, or twelve hours that does work for me very well. I usually set it on a six hour rotation um, and I keep it down on the lowest setting for the axolotls. So for this purpose, I really, really like this light. It's very clean. It's um, a very nice light for the price. So I give it a thumbs up 